Hello and welcome to Check It Out with Rich. Uh, as you can see, I'm in the camper. Uh, we were supposed to take the camper on Friday to get inspected and take to storage of Becky's mom's. But uh, we came down with COVID, so that didn't happen. But uh, I was going to make this video last Wednesday or Thursday, but COVID got in the way. But last Monday I came in and there was water on the floor down here. And it was coming from here. So, figured I'll make a video and show you what I learned. There's uh, your air conditioning units on the roof. Between the air conditioning unit and the roof, there's a closed cell phone gasket that goes around. There's four screws holding that into place. There's a plate on this side of the roof. And it just sandwiches everything together. Uh, the screws weren't super tight, but I looked at some YouTube videos and... Uh, I'm going to take it apart, redo it. Supposedly on that gasket there's some lines that Coleman puts on there that you're supposed to smash that down until the line touches the roof or something like that. But I'm going to tear it apart, see what we got. Uh, this is a Coleman, uh, Coleman Mach. I'm not sure the number. I'll look and see when I open it up. Four screws holding this outer, outer uh, shroud on, whatever you want to call it. Oop. Comes apart pretty easy. And then four screws hold this one on. And all this one does is uh, separate your uh, supply and return. They got uh, you got this insulation board in between the two, which isn't isn't put in very well. I guess it works. But we're gonna take it off for right now. As you can see, it didn't take very much to get that apart. Okay, I guess this is what they're talking about. What batteries are dying? <laughs> All right, I guess this. I don't know how well you can see this up there. But right here is a little, little tab. Yeah, my battery's about dead here. But right here is a little tab. And from what I've seen on YouTube, you have to smash that down with these bolts that smashes this together to bring that down till it touches the, the roof. Yeah, this one's the same way. And then these ones in the back side, it looks like they are touching. So I'm thinking the back's okay. I might get a tape measure just to measure, just to 
a little kind of crooked. Yeah, I'm thinking this came from the factory loose. And uh, this would probably be a good thing to, whenever you buy a camper, for as easy as this is to take apart. Um, take it apart and check it. Okay, my battery's about dead. Let's see if I got a tape maker right there. There we go. Alright, so here we got. Oh, yeah. There's a quarter inch difference between the back and the front. I just wonder. If that did move around, or if this is the original way they placed it. See if I can uh, square it up a little bit here. Oh, wow! Sounded it pretty good. She's pretty tight. And this is def definitely something I would, uh, our next camp, I'm definitely going to check. Boy, it's stuck down there pretty good. I guess that's where it's going to stay. I don't feel like messing with it too much here. Oh, there we go. Okay. All right, that's a little bit better. All right, let's see if we can bring this back some. Okay. Too much. Oh, she's she's moving pretty good now. We look pretty good here. Might put some new. Uh, well, she's way back now. this. 
I think I'm going to live with that. Looks a lot better. Okay. Yeah, I think it looks pretty good. check these they weren't hand loose but uh I could have turned them with these with a wrench so let's see what we got here now, I don't know how well you can see that but that white tab up there is bowing out And these ones here aren't touching, so we're gonna get a little bit more on these. And then when I'm done here, I think I'm gonna redo all this foil tape. Of course, they don't do a good job on this stuff. Supposedly, this thing is. I don't know if you can read that, but it uh, says install optional electric heater at this location. Which would be pretty nice if you're staying in a campground. But I don't see... I was looking on YouTube and it looked like there was a... Uh, up in here there was a plug for that. And there's just a... Uh, looks like a knockout up there for it. Yeah, I might have to look into that. Save on propane. Back a little bit better. Alright, it seems like it's not too bad. It's a hell of a lot better than what it was. Back is still wider, but I'm not going to mess with it anymore. All right, well, I'm going to leave it where it is. Couple weeks could be taking up their mom's storage. I'm gonna go over the roof real good up there in the springtime. I'll get a hose and uh, hose it down real good, make sure it doesn't leak. But right now, I'm gonna go get some tape and re tape all this up. I haven't been doing too much. Uh, this is Monday. We came started getting symptoms on Wednesday from the COVID. And it pretty much did I, I went to work Wednesday. That's when it started hitting me. But uh, we haven't done very much since then. And there's a little bit of movement I'm doing. Is uh I can feel it. <laughs> so we've been pretty uh we're pretty fortunate. 
have not real sick. Um, I don't see like a bad chest cold. Becky had it worse than me. I think on uh, Thursday she spent all day in bed. Yeah, with just this little bit of movement I'm doing, it's uh guess I'm still a little weak. Boy, they didn't uh did a real good job here. Not very good at all. Nah, we'll see if we can make it a little bit better. I was looking, they saw a thing called a RV airflow. What it is, it's uh, a molded styrofoam and it fits up into this area. This is your supply coming down. And it fits up here and it diverts it to both, both sides of your vents to go to the vents up in the ceiling. It looked pretty good. Um, you have a lot of turbulence in here, so it's not very efficient. That is more or less directed, directing it into the ductwork like it should. I got online and looked. That thing was $170 for a piece of styrofoam. It just, uh, that seemed, it seemed pretty excessive. I understand what it's doing is good and getting better efficiency, better airflow. But $170 is, I don't know, man. Seems uh, pretty expensive to me. I'd say maybe a, maybe $100. $170 is, uh, is just, I think it's nuts. Actually, thinking maybe seeing if I can take some type of uh, some roof flashing or something, and uh, put up in there as some type of a diverter. <coughs> all right, we got that all done. Only got about ten, but. 12 minutes left on my card, so I'm gonna get this back together. And like I said, in the spring, we'll, uh, oh, I was forgetting something. Yeah, this is just, campers are cheap. I'm going to go ahead and tape this in too, or maybe not. Let me put one across the top. Yeah, in the spring when I go to pick up the camper up her mom's, I'm going to go over our roof and hers wash it, seal it, but I'll check and see if uh, I get any leaks. And if I do, I think what I might do is just take the whole thing off, clean the roof, and then put everything back together. I'll just pull that into place a little bit better. 
Okay. channel on the top of this that that uh, diverter goes into. So get two in there make sure that stays inside that channel. Yep, we're good. Alright, put the other two screws in. There we go. Yeah, it's not the most efficient thing, but... Underneath the uh, underneath the cover all winter, so there won't be no snow on it or anything. So my uh, garden hose is already put away for the winter. Also, I would go ahead and uh, run some water up there. It's not a bad day out. I think it's like 45 or something like that. Some people might be pretty intimidating, but it's really not that hard. Got eight screws all together just getting into it. And there's only four through bolts clamping the whole thing together. So other than that, you just have electronics to take out. Within a half an hour, you can have this whole unit out of here. Probably an hour and a half have a swap it out from old one to a new one. Okay. Let me turn it on, make sure it works. It's probably too cold to uh, fire. No, it's air, air compressor's on. Okay, that is it. 
So keep our fingers crossed. Hopefully uh, no leak in the spring. Becky wants to get a new camper and I don't want to give her any excuses to speed it up. So, all right, well, thanks for checking it out.